Hello and welcome to another JFrog how-to video. My name is Iran, and today we're going to create and distribute a release bundle through the JFrog platform. Before we begin, I would like to mention that although I'll be using the JFrog platform UI for this tutorial, everything can and should be done via the REST API or the JFrog CLI. So let's begin by going to the distribution service in the platform UI. We will choose the new release bundle, give it a name, we'll give it a version, and it's highly recommended to give it a description. So we'll give it a demo bundle. Now, we need to tell distribution which artifacts we want as part of our release bundle. In order to do so, we will use the Artifactory Query Language, or AQL. You can either create your own AQL or use the GUI to generate one for you. As a side note, while you can create a very big and complex queries, it is recommended to segment the queries to small and specific uh, and specific ones for maintainability purposes. For this demo, I'll create two small queries. So let's create our first query. I'll go to the create query and I'll add a query. We'll give it a name. We'll choose the relevant repository or repositories. This, I'll choose generic local in this case. I can even um, filter by build or property, but in this case, I will only filter by um, artifact name pattern. So in this case, I'm going to choose star.txt and edit. We will click next. And over here, we can see all the artifacts that were collected by the query that we um, generated. If we're not satisfied at this point, we can go back, add more filters, modify the filter that we created, and look at it again. Assuming that we are satisfied, I will click next again. And over here, we can decide about, uh, we can decide on additional details we would like to add to our release bundle as part of the distribution. The first part is adding properties. We can add key value properties that will be added to the artifacts on the destination or even path mapping. I can change the location, whether it's a different folder structure or a different repository uh, of the distributed artifacts. In this case, we're doing nothing and we'll just save. Now, let's create our second query. So we'll add a query. Of course, we'll give it a name. And this time I'm gonna choose an NPM repository. And over here, I'm gonna choose a different pattern. Over here, I'm gonna choose a TGZ pattern. And I will click next. So this time I have only one file collected. This is exactly what I wanted, but I want to do two other things. So first of all, I wanna add properties to this file. So I'll do, um, let's say, demo, okay, we'll edit. And I also want to change the destination repository. So I'll choose a template, change repository. Over here, we are from app npm rc local to very similar, but not exactly the same app npm release local. And I will add this and I will save.
now we have two options. We can either just create the release bundle, which will make it editable. It will close it. We will be able to review it, but we will not be able to distribute it and create and sign. Creating and signing will allow you to distribute the release bundle, but you will not be able to edit it. So we need to be very confident before you click the create and sign. In this case, because it's for demo, I am going to create and sign the release bundle, but usually would like to review the bundle before then. So I will sign the release bundle. I will go to the version actions and I will decide to distribute the version. Over here, I need to choose out of my edge nodes where I want to distribute to. Uh, in this case, I'm just distributing to one edge node for the demo. And we'll wait for the distribution to finish. It should take a couple of seconds because I have much of this content already in the destination. Okay, distribution report, the distribution was completed successfully. So now we will go to the edge node, take a look at the distribution. We'll see that we have the YouTube demo release bundle. We can review it over here. And of course, we can also review the files and the artifacts on uh, the, the tree browser. Over here, I just wanna show one last thing. I wanna show the, um, the TGZ that we moved. And that it now has the property demo equals okay, in addition to everything else that it had before. That's it. That was my video on creating and distributing release bundles. Thank you for watching and I hope you have enjoyed. Feel free to leave your comments, feedback or questions in the comment section below.